are the stories from the road of an automotive diagnostic robot from the future to discover new problems and new vehicles and to go where no other robot has gone before. Robotech was called to a shop that had a 1997 Mitsubishi Eclipse with a 2.0 liter engine and a check engine light on with a code P1486 evaporate monitor pinched hose found. The repair shop decided to replace the purge valve, but this did not correct the problem. They then searched for a pinched hose, but nothing was found. Rather than keep putting parts into this eclipse, they decided to call me in for assistance. Most evap situations involve vacuum leaks or defective components, but this was different. A pinched hose was a bit tougher to detect. So, I decided to perform a basic smoke pressure check first. I removed the purge hose and connected the smoke machine right after the purge valve. I then closed or plugged the vent valve. This way the evap system was sealed. I turned the smoke machine on and started to check for leaks. After a checkup period, I found none. I even pressurized the evap higher than the normal 10 to 20 inches of water, but found no leaks. Okay fine, I wasn't expecting leaks. So I then unhooked the evap hoses at the rear going towards the vent and fuel tank, turned on the smoke machine, and checked for smoke. I immediately saw the smoke at the rear hoses. This vehicle had no indication of any pinched hoses anywhere. What was going on here? Where was the pinched hose? This code P1486 indicates a pinched line due to the quick build-up of a VAP vacuum, as seen by the ECM. But this didn't make any sense. It didn't look like there was a quick build up of vacuum. I then decided to reconnect the rear evap hoses and perform a vacuum test. So I connected a water manometer, a fancy word for a very precise vacuum gauge, and a portable vacuum pump. The moment I started vacuuming, the gauge went up very fast. I was shocked. There was a quick vacuum build up. The issue was definitely there. But wait, I suddenly remembered what happened when I previously pressurized the system. I remembered that I cranked the pressure higher than normal, and pressure held steady. This was not supposed to happen. This is exactly what the fuel cap is supposed to prevent. Excess pressure buildup was my issue at the fuel cap. I immediately went back and removed the fuel cap. But then, what a shock, the system was holding vacuum. But how? I then inspected the fuel filler neck for a stuck close the VAP mechanical purge valve. This valve is spring loaded, and will close the VAP purge line during vehicle fueling when the gas cap is removed. The resolve is to replace the entire fuel filler neck assembly. After replacement the issue was gone and never seen again. This case shows that most of app problems can be resolved with patience and detailed procedure. Most of these inexpensive VAP tools will always help you find the problem. This robot will now power down for a recharge? Will I dream? I don't know. See you next time.